really interestingly, the gates open. Right, hello everybody, good afternoon. Welcome to Whitewick's Abandoned Railways. We're, today we're not abandoned railways, today we're abandoned canals. canals. <laughs> In the background you will see an abandoned railway station. Um, and that is Chard Central, or Chard, jo Chard Joint, uh, which London South Western Railway and GWR shared. However, as we said, right now we're stood where we think um, Chard Canal Basin was, which is the southern point of Chard Canal. Yep. Um, Char Canal went up the same route as the railway to Ward Taunton. Um, and we're going to see what. Um, Actually, it's the other way around. The railway went up the same route as the canal because the canal was here first. Good, good point, <laughs> thank you. So, anyway, we're going to see what um, canal paraphernalia we can find today because we thought we were in the area. We've got a spare half a day, so let's see what we can do with canals. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Whitewick's Abandoned Canals. Right, first job um, is to find an incline um, and we'll chat about that when we get through here. I can't get any higher, so I think, do you want to just come under? <laughs> It must be stuck on something over there. I think it is. Hey, you're going to hit me in the face in a minute. I'm <laughs> going backwards. I can't, get any higher. I can't lift it any higher. <laughs> I'm not talking about like, There's a gap through here. And then we can go through this like really old kissing gate. Oh my god! Okay, ready? Side now because it's canal talk should we not be like a different oh. railway talk <laughs> i didn't think of that right so we decided to have a look at this canal as we said because it was abandoned 160 years ago or whatever 18 early 60s um obviously when railways were becoming a big thing and we thought we'll have a look at it and one of the things we first noticed um again using the rail map online website which is a really useful yeah. thing because he does canals as well worth having a look at and one of the things that they've highlighted or the guys highlighted on the rail map online is um, all the features as you know um, but he's done the features of the canals and we noticed a lot of inclines and tunnels and my assumption was inclines well inclines are obviously locks aren't they no, it turns out they're not. This is how little we know about canals. Yeah, I thought it was a bit like, was it Fort Augustus in Scotland where the well, locks yeah, yeah. go up? And you kind of think of lock and you go up and you go yeah. up and you go up. But it's not. Um, Cane Hill Locks in uh, near Devizes. Yeah. Um, that's what our assumption of an incline was. It turns out that's not the case. It turns out, as you probably already know, an incline is an incline. So they would literally put a, on this canal, they used tubs. Yes. So they weren't boats, well they were boats, but they weren't... Um, canal barges in the traditional sense they were no tubs power of their own did they yeah no i know i guess they wouldn't have done anyway but they were tubs and they were then put in um either more tubs on here or literally lifted out of the water and um we need to do a bit more research on this canal to see how they did propel themselves but basically yeah they got they were uh, pulled up and down the inclines Well, it's all very new to us so we're looking for first of all the remains of a canal tunnel and then the remains of the canal incline um, no clue really where either are but because we're looking for something that's kind of built in 1842 and abandoned 24 years later we've no clue what we're after 
We're on a hill. We're on a big hill. <laughs> but that also tells us that we're at the top of what we think is the uh, Ilminster incline. So basically from the bottom down there, up the slope there, we're pretty sure that is the incline. And just here you have what we think would have been a small basin before the brickwork just over there which we think is the top end of the northern portal, the Ilmerta Canal Tunnel. It was the double barge tunnel, so I guess that means you can get two barges for it. No, yeah, they were they? called tubs, weren't they? Tubs, so they were tubs. Um, so we think there is the northern portal, and that makes sense because there's a lot of empty earthwork there, or hole, and there would be the incline, pl incline plane. Okay, so what you're looking at just ahead of us, and we're facing south, is Crimson Hill. Now, under Crimson Hill, they've built a 1,800 yard tunnel. And there's some pretty crazy pictures online of people that have actually gone in there and gone all the distance. There's a few recent collapses. I'm not sure if I've been able to obtain any of those pictures, but just Google uh, Crimson Hill Tunnel and you'll see some amazing pictures. Um, Fascinating. So we're walking up now the side to try and find Crimson Hill or the incline and the tunnel. Um, and back there, you've just seen we've just done a bit of overlay of the uh, the farm buildings, which is supported by the aqueducts. Yep. Um, what's left of it? Yeah, what's left of it. Um, to our left, immediately now, which is over there, is the canal. Um, we're going to walk, as I say, a bit further up here first to see if we can see the incline first went up the incline, then into the long tunnel. So we're at James Green? Yes, originally had the idea, and he, well not the idea, but he was the one that was originally trying to put it together. Yeah, so. um, and he said, I was going to look in there, he <laughs> said, right, um, what can they raise? Can they, they can raise fifty-seven thousand pounds. Yeah, Parliament 000, said, yeah. yeah. Parliament said yes, with the potential to borrow another twenty. But the interesting thing is, they said you need to have built some of the tunnels first. And the total cost of the canal once they'd built it all, one hundred and forty thousand. One hundred and forty thousand pounds compared to the fifty-seven that they originally envisaged. Okay, so Ooh. we are trying to find now the incline. Um, the incline, wantage, rantage, rantage incline. And my guess is it's kind of here now either side of us. There's a lot of water everywhere. It's making it very difficult to A, move anywhere, but B, also try and find stuff. We're now basically in a field. The pathway goes across there, Rebecca. So that's no good to us. It's back the way we came. Um, yeah. So I think where Rebecca stood now is halfway up the incline, goes down there. Thanks Rebecca. And can you point that way as well glamorously? Excellent. And that way is up towards the top of the incline. So we're going to keep walking up the pathway up there and um, see if we can find the tunnel entrances. Zzz, 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 zzz. Well, so the, <laughs> this is crazy. It, it's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Yeah. It's like lovely cutting, really ornate, not ornate, but it kind of is ornate. It is. Because it? it's stone. It's literally just like a railway yeah. tunnel. Um, that's it. Right, this is what we read as well. This is really exciting. It's only one barge there. Yeah, you can't get two barges, there's even a wide beam in there. It's very small. Yeah. But in the middle, it widens. it widens, they had passing places. What we're looking at now, people, is a 1,800 meter or yard tunnel. It's over a mile long True. and they had passing places in the middle. That's insane. Yep. This, I, this is amazing stuff, amazing little his, bit of history here. Um, let's see if we can get a bit closer. He's going down, everybody. Well, I'm gonna try and get down to the shelf there, at least so I can try and take a picture inside, get a torch out. Um, be really sad if I can't. Who knows? I don't know how deep that is. That's the only problem. Um, but I, I'm just fascinated by this engineering. So they had to build this before they got full allocation well, of money. Start to build it. To start prove to build it. They yeah. Could do it. I to guess. prove they could do it. 1,800 meter tunnel. Yeah. The fact that it gets wider in the middle. Um, in some of the pictures we've seen, the people that have gone inside here, 
um, where the middle is, is almost like this rather than like a traditional tunnel where it's like that so you've got the real pressure of this bit this was wide almost like that so it's not surprising apparently there's been a few collapses in the middle although it doesn't look like it here does it nope um, it looks like a traditional tunnel mm. um, and that shows you that, that what do we say the tubs were six feet wide yes so six foot six foot wide tub that shows that they can only probably just get through there because that, that's much a lot wider yeah. than six foot 26 foot long and so, six foot wide right imagine just starting your journey along there maybe you had a stick to push along mm -hmm. maybe you literally pushed along the roof um, in one of those tubs um, you just come up the incline um, and also that's another interesting point that vantage incline there that delayed the opening of the um, the canal because they had some wire breaks didn't they yes you sat in a tub in a caisson yes and, and a wire breaks and yeah it, it damaged some of the caissons that's mad isn't it mm. um and yeah unreported how many people probably died but for the time being let's go and have a look see if we can see any further downhill good luck i'm looking at the water below me now and that's i'm thinking two feet deep plus the silt so i ain't going in with my wellies um so this is as good as we're going to get mm. interestingly um, really interestingly, the gate's open. Is it? Yeah. I mean, if, if the water was lower, you could get in because it's not padlocked. Let's get some pickies. Number two, um, we're nearly at the northern part. We've, we do want to see the final aqueduct near the Five Arches Bridge. Yep. Um, so we do want to see that final aqueduct because that's like the final point in line. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it's going to clear up before, before we get there. But we were hoping to see this at Lillsdown, Lillsdown Tunnel, yeah. which is this tunnel. It's a tunnel down there. But today, as you can hear, it's probably not going to be a day for us clambering down the bank. Okay, so this is this is um, Aqueduct Bridge. How did they come up with that name, Rebecca? OMG! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was originally called Aqueduct Bridge. Obviously, this is the last aqueduct on uh, the northern section as we head north on the um, old canal. Um, so we, I think you can walk on top of this. Let's go and have a look. So when you're at the the start of the aqueduct there, or not the start, the bit you can get out just there behind Rebecca. It's difficult to see how this was an aqueduct. What did, how do they build these sort of things? Um, but the more you go this way, and we can go this way a little bit, you can kind of get an idea now. Because, um, so you've got brickwork down there, and next to the brickwork, you've got what is obviously part of the embankment. So actually, it was banked up over and above the bridge there, um, and you can see the massive into it. So it's probably what I don't know. Um, four or five feet deep which makes sense maybe three or four feet deep which makes sense for a canal um, so if I'm stood kind of here yeah there's what's that three feet high Rebecca on the bank like it, yeah, yeah. interesting from the banks of the river Tone um, and this beautiful um, aqueduct yes. built in 1842 um, for the canal um, we bid you farewell we hope that this is something a little bit different if you'd like to see more abandoned canals let us know in the comments below it's not something we're intending to do hugely but if you like it then we will more than happily bring you some more abandoned canals right we can occasionally find canals as we're doing railways hence yeah. today hence today so yeah um, so we hope you enjoyed today's little vlog and explore not too much in terms of um, historic education from our point of view because we know very little about old canals um, but hopefully you've enjoyed the explore anyway and we shall see you uh, next time <laughs>